What's up guys, Jeremy here from MTG Headquarters doing another um, sealed deck tutorial. It's not planned out. I'm going into it just like you would. You get your six packs, or in this case I'm using these Dragon's Maze pre-release pre vent decks. It doesn't really matter. Um, I'm doing all sorts of, I want basically to end up with like five or ten different, t completely different pools and try to share what I would do with you in like a five or 10 part tutorial series so that whenever you go play sealed, it, it doesn't really, it's not gonna be more so about like this particular sealed event. I'd want these to be like, um, I want these to be perennial, right? I, I don't want like these videos to be only good for Dragon's Maze, you know, stuff. So. In the first seal tutorial, I think the theme of that one was really um, doing the best you can with a mediocre pool. I mean, that's really what we ended up with. Was a, it had some bombs, but it wasn't like a clear win, just an easy build where you're like, oh, boom, that's 23 cards. Great. Grab my land. Let's go. Um, but we went safe, and that's how I like to play a mediocre pool. Like, just don't get mana screwed, you know, and, and you can compete and you can win your, you know, you can get a couple packs. I always like to, you know, if I get a crappy pool, I play it out, you know, like, I don't drop. I mean, you never know. So let's just pretend these are also packs, and then the four DGM packs are here. These are random, and, you know, why not make it a little bit of a pack opening, too, because, shoot, that's what I do, right? And I like to separate things right away, like fixing, blind obedience is awesome, and then thousand lash is awesome. White of Precinct 6, awesome. Executioner Swing, Night Watch, Basilica Guard, Smite, Gutter Skulk, Syndicate of Tithes. Yeah. So this might be like, at least currently, though, that's a pretty good Orzov start. Um, two color, black, white. And what I like to do then is separate things into guilds, at least now. You know, if you're playing like a sealed event and it's a M14, M15, M20, and there's not, like, it's not a two-color theme kind of thing. Ooh, Precinct Captain, excellent card. Security Blockade, Call the Conclave, Common Bond. So we got, I would say, decent Selesnya cards. Pretty solid Orzov pool. And then we have our four packs. So let's open these packs and see if we can get any better. In this case, I'm, I mean you're pretty certain that you're going to want to stick in these four col three colors, but you don't know. Um, we've got, I'm going to color sort then, Sunspire Gatekeepers, Runner's Bane, Progenitor Mimic, or ah, Progenitor Mimic, Beetleform Mage is solid, Maze Rusher is okay, Pilfer Plans is playable in Demir, and I put all the two colors together, Sinister Possession is garbage, Showstopper, Warp Physique, Playable in Demir, Crisis Incubation, Playable in Simic, Blood Scrivener. I don't love it, but people say it's great. Ooh, a foil of profit loss. That that's like a I love that card. Um, let's go ahead and put these just in our Orzov pile. And then we'll go to the fixing and we got a tip card. So I like to kinda I mean if this were just a blank six pack sealed pool, okay, like let's just suspend that. You know, these are just 60 random cards and I want this tutorial to kind of reflect that. Um, you know, I think what I, what I would be doing would be basically the same. You're looking for continuity, reliability, and um, that's, you know, continuity is something that a lot of people just ignore in their sealed pools. Oh, Unflinching Courage, that's pretty that's pretty solid. Selesnia card. Gruel War Chant. Trait Doctoring. Oh, Foil Fatal Fumes, okay. Selesnia Gilgate, that's good. Um, people just tend to, like, get, get um, too into the sexy bombs. You know, but don't forget continuity is important. Meaning, if you're going to play, let's say, a Battering Crisis, you better have cards that's going to evolve it. Otherwise, it's just a 2-1 for 3, right? That's probably not a great example, but you get where I'm going. Sunspire Gatekeepers, geez, I have three of them. If I get a bunch of gates, that would be not a bad thing. 
or a bunch of relevant games. Thrashing Moss Dog is a great green card. I play it in almost any sealed pool that's green, <laughs> if that makes sense. Wear and tear. So I'll do all that two color Prior Wild Shaman. Gari Guildgate, which is relevant. Yeah, so this this is kind of shaping up for like three oh, another Sunspire Gatekeepers. This is kind of shaping up for like obvious three color build. Not a nut, another, just it's not a nut pool. I wouldn't say that. Punish the enemy. Another Thrashing Moss Dog. I'll play two of them. I'm not like that. War Leader's Helix. That's a great piece of removal. Mirko Vosk is an absolute bomb. Um, another Golgari Gilgate. A Knight Token. Is that it? Okay. So after I kind of open all my packs, I like to just kind of look at look it over, okay? In this case, you know, we know pretty much we've got really solid um, white-black cards in terms of Orzhov playables, Maw the Obza, that's good. Fatal Fumes is good. Profit Loss is good. Blood Scrivener, eh. Bind Obedience is amazing. Thousand Lashes, these are all great. Murder, Murder Investigation, I'm going to start cutting already. Slate Suit Ruffian, Dutiful Thrill, fine. Yeah, this is a great Orzhov pool. Um, it's a great Orzhov pool, but it's not that great of a Selesnia pool. I mean, Unflinching Courage is really good. Um... Precinct Captain's really good. Security Blockade's pretty good. Call of the Conclave's pretty good. But it's not like we got an Armada, not an Armada Worm, or like a, we didn't, you know, we got like real basic Selesnia stuff. So I'm not, at, at this point, I'm not like dead set on Selesnia. So two color for sure. So let's see where we're at in terms of a two color deck. Are there any solid black cards? Hired Tortures. There's really no good mono black. Maybe Maze Abomination. What about mono white? Riot Control, no way. Sunspire Gatekeepers, I'll put two of them as maybes. Although, geez, how many did I get? Four? Um... Now, so we've got basically, we're, we're considering we're green or black and white for sure. Um, now, do any other two color cards, like, are there any of these that we absolutely want to play? Okay. Mirko Voss, we could play um, him in here. We don't really have any other mill, but we do have some pretty good blue cards. A couple Runner's Banes, Maze Glider. Obviously, Mirko Voss is. A lot of trouble. War Leader's Helix is removal and splash red, and you could actually just maybe put Punish the Enemy in there. Morgue Burst, it's, I guess, borderline playable. Turn Burn. I want to stay away from cards that are just, you know, we know for sure isn't going to happen. Okay, Pilfer Plans. So we're either going to play white, black, blue, or we're going to play white, black, green. And sometimes you want to let your fixing decide for you. What do we have for gates? Selesnya Guild, great. That's relevant. Golgari, if we play black, green, white, black, green, that's a great one. Another Golgari, that's great. Another Selesnya, and then an Orzov. This is great. Um, I think that... I think let the fixing decide is kind of the theme of this one, right? Um, we could go, I think, I feel just, I mean, since it's not like a god pool, I feel confident going white, black, green. I feel confident going white, black, blue. I feel less confident about white, black, red, but I'd play it. So I think we let our fixing decide, and we have five gates, which is kind of like the magic number for putting in gatekeepers, and the Sunspire gatekeepers are great, tons of value. Um, so I think that this one is, this tutorial name or this theme is really let the fixing decide. And we don't need any clue stones. Again, just my style. I absolutely hate clue stones. I only use them if I'm in like five color good stuff. Um, 
So green, white, do we have any green black cards worth playing? Maybe the Gorgon. Drown in Filth, that sucks. No, there's really nothing. Gorgon, maybe. Maybe. All right, so now that you've kind of narrowed down your colors, let's cut. That's what I like to do. Maybe your methods are different. That's okay. But I, I feel good about five gates. I feel pretty good about that. Two gatekeepers, okay. Maze Abomination, that's a maybe. Ma the Obsidot, that's for sure. Fatal, we don't have much in terms of removal, so I have to play Fatal Fumes and Profit Loss. Blood Scrivener, that's a maybe. Blind Obedience is just amazing. Thousand Lashes is amazing. Slate Street Ruffian, I like it. It's kind of like a medium. Like these are for sure. These are, I don't know. And that, I'm pretty sure I don't want to play it. Dutiful Thrill is great in like a pure extort deck. Um, I'm going to go maybe. Executioner Swing, that's for sure. Night Watch, I don't like it. Uh, Beckoning Aberration, that's an absolute no. Basilica Guards, that's a great card. It's my favorite extort other than Basilica Screechers. Syndicate Enforcer, it's a maybe. Smite, absolutely. Gutter Skulk, maybe. Syndicate of Tides, that's for sure. Um, Unflinching Courage, now we're into kind of the splash. That's absolutely. 2-2 two, two and Trample, that's a bomb. That's an uncommon bomb. Precinct Captain, no doubt. Um, Security Blockade, I like it, actually. But it's more of a Selesnia card. Um, so let's put that maybe in the same here with the call on the conclave we're really playing black white splash green so what do i like i like avenging arrow for removal i like ethereal armor i love thrashing moss dogs battering crisis maybe gorgon's not bad gorgon's not bad in the late game this isn't the final list. This is like your first cut. Concordia Pegasus can be okay at times. Um, Seek the Horizon? I don't know if we need it. Maybe. Okay. So after you make kind of your first round of cuts, let's see where we're at. I definitely think the theme of this one is letting your fixing decide. And again, this is another, in my opinion, a two out of three deck. This is not a, I don't think you would need some things to go your way just to win. I, I put it that way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Wow. We have to cut a lot. So now we're going to have to be a little, um, Picky. Okay, Seek the Horizon. That makes sense, cutting. I love combat tricks, so I'm going to keep Common Bond. Towering Indrik is great if you don't have anything to deal with Flyers. Um, Battering Crace. So, but we have two Thrashing Moss Dogs with Reach, so that might not be bad. And we have enough removal. I think I'm going to kill... No, I love Towering Indrik, though. 2-4 four for 4. That's just a solid creature. I think I'm going to cut Courses Accord because we're just not really playing... The Selesnia's theme here. Here's where I'm really looking at continuity now. Like, um, how does your deck play together? Like, Battering Crisis, I mean, it's an Evolver. Like, Call the Conclave, I'm going to take that out. Because I don't have anything that is going to populate anyway. This is really just a good extort deck with... Good extort deck with splashing green, mostly for unflinching courage and thrashing moss dogs. I love them. There's so much value there. They have scavenge and everything. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're at 28. Okay, these are definitely coming out then. We don't have room for them. Security blockade's great in the Selesnia deck. Um, I do, I do like it, but it's not an easy cut, but I'm going to cut it. I'm flinching courage. That stays no matter what. Anything extort stays and anything with removal stays for sure. Blind obedience is just so, so good too. Um, we're not really aggro, so you could cut the syndicate enforcer maybe. Um, while the obsidat's too good, do I need... I don't know. I like the gatekeepers for their value, but again, they're not really Selesnia. But having blockers in a good extort deck is really important. Um, 
boy. A two drop to block is not bad. I have quite a few things to actually evolve this Krasis. I mean, it doesn't really fit. What do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. We have to cut four. Here's what's going to happen. I think here's what's going to happen. We may just. Okay, I'm keeping Common Bond. I like, I like it. Concordia Pegasus coming out. Avenging Arrow's good. Gorgon's too good to cut. Battering Krasis, it just doesn't fit. Syndicate Enforcer doesn't fit. And that might be our deck. I'm going to cut a Gatekeepers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4. Yep. So Gatekeepers comes out. Again, this is not... It's really just about, I think the purpose of these tutorials or the helpfulness of them starts and ends with basically making that decision, looking at your pool and making that decision. So in this one, we said, well, you know, we've got two strong colors. We probably need a third. Let's let our fixing decide. And that's exactly what we did. I mean, five gates is just great. If we had some Ubalsar gatekeepers or something else, that would be great. I think for creatures, we got what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. That's fine. You may wanna, you may eventually, if you need to get a little more aggro, you could sub out the Dutiful Thrall for the Syndicate Enforcer or maybe the Slate Sleet Ruffian. I do like the discarding. Um, especially with anything that causes them to discard at this point in the game when you have removal and you have a white of Precinct 6. I mean, that's a win he can be a win condition. Let's put it that way. Extorting is your win condition here. And then things like a white of Precinct 6 or Unflinching Courage. Profit loss is just sick. Precinct Captain can be overwhelming early. But the theme of this deck is letting your fixing decide. So in that, in that uh, vein... I want you to help me decide on, you know, if you like these type of tutorials, if you want me to do a bunch more, I will gladly do it when I get back. Um, I have fun doing it. And if they're helpful to you, I will definitely like, I'd love to get 10 or 12 of these like sealed kind of tutorials, excuse me, tutorials where it's just like all these different scenarios. So that you could just sit down and watch them all before you went to a sealed event and you're like, okay, here's what I'm going to do now. You know, I don't know what to do. Well, let my, let my fixing decide. Or like in the last deck, I don't have a great pool. Or in the last tutorial, I don't have a great pool, but I'm going to let my... I'm going to play it safe, play the odds, and just keep it, keep it safe. You know, mediocre pool, play for just consistency. I hope you guys like this. I'm trying something new. I would love to commit to a tutorial type where I can add more value other than just opening up packs for you. If you like this, take a moment to crush that thumbs up button. It would mean a lot to me. And if you're new to the channel, also subscribe. And if you have any questions, I look forward to chatting with you in the comment section down below. We'll talk to you again real soon. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Check out some of our most popular playlists, everything from MTG vlogs, gameplay video, new product breaks, and some insane vintage openings. And if you haven't yet, here's your opportunity to crush that subscribe button to join the fastest growing Magic the Gathering channel on YouTube. Thanks again, and we'll see you real soon.